Hey, West Coast Johnny, how's it going? Thanks for swinging by. See that little ashtray behind me right here? That's like an atomic looking ashtray. It's almost 30 inches tall. Now I'm gonna recreate this today for a gift for somebody. Let me show you the ashtray that I'm starting with. So here's a drawing of what it's gonna look like. It's gonna have three legs and it's gonna be something you could just set next to a chair or something. And what you see, those little springs, they're right here. See that? See the springs? That holds your cigarette. Now, this was really rusty, and I took the spring out. The spring actually pops out, and I had to soak this in uh, vinegar, and then I soaked this in vinegar for a few days, got it really cleaned up, and then, then I painted it copper. So we're going to have the copper ashtray. We're going to leave this the metal color. That fits inside, see that? So we're gonna create these legs because like I said, I saw a couple of them that kind of look cool and I wanna make something like that. So we're gonna use the 5 16 round rod. We're gonna cut some pieces of it right now. So here it is. See, it's not very thick stuff, 5 16 We're gonna make three of these and we're gonna have a like a point where the three intersect. Okay, we got our three pieces cut and they're all the same exact size. They're 28 inches. Perfect. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put two of them like this, something like this, okay? You don't wanna go way out here. It's gonna look too bulky and weird. And you don't want it like this because you don't want it to, to be so little that it could just tip over easy. So we're gonna go and we're gonna make it like this. And the reason we're doing it just like this is so that this ashtray is gonna sit on top. Actually, it's gonna go like this. So that's what we need to do. We need to weld that like that. Then the third piece is just gonna go inside and match. So here's what you end up with these legs like this. And then the top looks kind of like this, see? And then the ashtray fits inside. I don't know if it's gonna fit flat. We may have to put it on a little metal plate, weld these legs to this plate, the steel plate. Then we could just put like a magnet on the bottom of this. It'll just stick to it. So when you go to empty the ashtray, you don't have to pick the whole thing up. You just pull the ashtray right off and stick it right back. Okay, we're gonna turn the welder on. It's made by Hynade. 110 and 220 volt. It's a small MIG welder. I got it set at 68 amps for 516 surround rod. If it proves to be not quite enough, we'll turn it up a little. Let me show you my new helmet I got from Miller. Look at that, all pinstriped. That's pretty cool. You know, I just realized we can't weld these together until we round the corners because the, the ashtray I'm trying to make and reproduce, it had where the three pieces came up, they were rounded. And I don't want to try to grind these round when they're all welded together because it's going to be uh, very limiting. Uh, being able to move around the grinder. So we're going to grind these first and then we're going to go ahead and just tack them, tack weld them and just see how it works. Right there. Okay, I want to show you how it looks. It's kind of ugly looking, the welds. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to 
clean up the welds really nice. I'm going to grind them and stuff. So when we paint this, it won't look so horrible. Okay, well, here's our ashtray and the stand. But what I'm going to do, I don't want this little ashtray to have nothing to support it except going like this because it, it could get loose and fall. So what I'm going to do, I got, I'm curving some metal like this, the shape. And what I'm going to do is right inside here, we're going to have like a little curve that goes here, here, and here. And then the ashtray will just sit on top of it. So I'm going to go bend some more metal. perfect curve okay so what we're doing now I got these three little pieces in these little triangles and I just got to sand and clean all this up really nice so that when I paint it black it looks really good so we're gonna sand all this up you know all the little welds we're gonna kind of dress them up real nice and then down here if you're wondering what this blue is I had to put a little bit of body filler in just a little bit because the way the angle was it was hard to fill it with weld um, let me show you see that so we're going to sand that real nice get it real smooth get this real smooth like i said and our ashtray sits right on top like that now this got pretty scratched up so we're going to repaint this and then this spring i'm going to clean it up real good and then we're going to paint this black and then I think this project will be finished. So let's go ahead and start a little bit later in the evening. And I repainted this earlier, the copper color, because it got all scratched. And then this spring, uh, I just cleaned all the tarnish off of it. But I didn't want to paint it because it fits inside of here like this. Watch. There. So you squeeze it in. See that? But if you put a cigarette in it, you don't want the cigarette to burn paint because then you're going to get spray paint in your cigarette. So we're just leaving it the steel color that it is. And then here's the actual finished little thing. Now, if you look at it, it's exactly, I, I measured it for a long time, but Here's what I wanted to show you. When I put the support pieces across that hold the ashtray, what I didn't know was they would all be different sizes. And if you look, this one's way longer than this one. And this one's pretty short. And it's just because the way the rods stack up at the bottom, it's, you know, it's they didn't come up all perfectly straight. I mean, they're straight, but they didn't come up even. It's just the way it is. But anyways, there it is. Okay, so let's throw this on and see how it looks. There it is, okay. Easy to empty. And there it is, folks. And anyone can do this. And what I wanted to tell you is this. If you don't have an ashtray like this, that no big deal. Check this out. So I found this little steel bowl. It's a steel bowl. And I found it at a thrift store right by my house. And you could use something like this. See? And make a cool ashtray. So, you know, maybe you could put some sand in it. Whatever. But anyways, that's the project. Project is finished. It's actually for my wife's birthday this Saturday, and she's going to be excited. So uh, I just want to say I want to thank all my new subscribers. And if anybody has any questions about anything, just please ask me and leave a comment. All right, I'll talk to everybody soon.